This is a video review of 45 degree rolling offsets. So reminder, first, we want to find our true offset, center to center. Using the formula, true offset equals rise squared plus roll squared, all square rooted. Our travel center center, which is equal to true offset times 1.414. And that is for, again, 45 degree rolling offset only. And in our advanced center center, our advanced center center equals our true offset and our 45 degree rolling offset. Just to make a special note about the finding the true offset, and using the rise and the roll. In some instance that we're gonna talk about shortly, you have to first figure out what the rise and the roll is, and sometimes you have to do a quick calculation to find out what the rise and what the roll is. So here we are, we have a rolling offset, 45 degree rolling offset. Uh, the piece of pipe uh, inside the box is in the near the top left hand corner piece is going in straight there that's pipe p p goes from the the wall of the box to the center of the 45. then we start to have our from the 45 rolling down and to the right over to the center of this 45 that is our t piece of pipe otherwise known as our travel and then we have another piece of pipe once it goes back straight again here from the 45 over to the wall before it leaves the box and this piece of pipe is unknown it is uh known as our uh, center to wall and another thing we could look at is our walled wall mention of our box so overall wall from the wall dimension from the box So we've added a few things to the drawing here. As I was mentioned before, to find the true offset first, we need to know our rise and our roll is. So in most circumstances out in the field, we're gonna to have to do some measurements to figure out what the rise and the roll is. And one of the ways is to do two measurements for the rise and two for the roll, and then uh, to strictly subtract one from the other, one rise from the rise. So on this particular drawing, left-hand side, we have from the bottom of the box up to the where the height of the pipe is. That's to the center of that pipe. That's our first rise measurement. So from the bottom of the box all the way up to the center of where the pipe is, that's rise number one. Over on the right-hand side of the drawing, we have again from the bottom of the box up to the center of the pipe near the bottom right hand corner as the box as the pipe is getting ready to leave the box that is our second rise dimension if we take rise number one and we subtract rise number two that will give us the difference between the two different heights and that will give us our rise if we look over at the left hand side of the box again we have which is labeled as roll number one going from the right hand side of the box over to the center of the hole where the pipe is that's one measurement Measuring again from the same on the other side of the box, from the same right hand side of the box, over to the center where the pipe is going to leave the box is our second roll number. And again, we have our roll number one, we subtract our roll number two, and we get what our actual roll between those two pieces of pipe is the difference. On this particular question, too, if we were solving for the travel and we were solving for pipe P, we would have to know what pipe A is here down at the bottom. So the center of the 45 over to the wall, dimension A. And as I mentioned before, down at the bottom of the screen here, from inside the wall to the other inside wall, the overall dimension of the box from wall to wall should be a known measurement too in order to help us find the remaining pipe P. So calculating true offset. Again, true offset equals rise squared plus roll squared. Add together 
and square root it. But first to find rise, we take our rise one dimension and subtract our rise two dimension. Always keeping in mind, we should end up with a positive number, not a negative number. If we come up with a negative number, then we've done it wrong. We probably have to swap the numbers around so we get the positive number. We have to find our roll, take the roll one and subtract our roll two to get our actual roll. Once we got both of those, then we can plug it into the equation and off we go. To calculate the travel, again, this is our T piece of pipe from center to center of fitting. We take our true offset, which we just calculated on the previous screen. And now, because we know it's a 45 degree rolling offset, we times it by 1.414. Calculating our advance. In a 45 degree rolling offset, our advance is equal to our true offset. And just in case you're wondering, as I put my cursor on the 45 degree elbow, the center of it, which is between the P and the T pipe, and I draw an imaginary line straight down, and then to the right to connect with the other elbow, I make a right angle triangle, just imaginary right angle triangle. And the bottom of the triangle that would go parallel with the pipe A is my advanced part, which will help us with the next part of the question. So calculating the unknown length, in this case, pipe P. I take my known measurement down at the bottom, which covers from wall to wall. And I subtract what the dimension is for pipe A. And then I also subtract what the advance is. Okay, so the advance and A are part of the known measurement at the bottom. And what we subtract from there will be our leftover part, which will be our P. So P equals known measurement, the overall dimension at the bottom of the box here. Subtract our A pipe dimension and then subtract our advance. This is how we solve our P pipe.